morning. Thanks for joining us tonight. Amtrak is breathing new life into the Texas Central High Speed Rail Project. The two organizations announced today a potential partnership to make that line from Dallas to Houston a reality. News 3's Donnie Tuggle spoke with advocacy groups on both sides of the issue and learned the impact this could have on the economy and landowners along the route. For high-speed rail advocates, Wednesday's announcement from Texas Central and Amtrak was a breath of fresh air. The two announced that they've submitted applications to receive federal funding to further study and design the 240-mile route that would connect Houston and Dallas with the proposed stop in Grimes County. The High-Speed Rail Alliance says having Amtrak involved is a very important step for the project. North Texas Council of Governments is actually doing the prep work to allow the Houston to Dallas project to be extended to Fort Worth, which brings even more people into this. But those on the other side of the tracks say the announcement confirms their long-held belief that the project initially presented as a private partnership might now rely on taxpayer funding. We said there was no way it could be privately financed. The, the numbers never made sense. And our fear was that Texas, that taxpayer dollars would be involved at some point and they were not being honest about it. Defenders of the potential partnership argued that federal dollars are used for projects seen across the country every day. Why should this be any different? We put massive subsidies into ever adding ever more lanes to highways, um, and it's difficult to imagine competing with that. Still, for Texans against high-speed rail, they say the fight for private property rights transparency and fiscal accountability will continue. They are picking the pocket of Texas taxpayers, taxpayers all over the country because it's Amtrak. Like I've always said, this may not go through your backyard, but it may go through your pocketbook. Donnie Tuggle, News 3. Safe firefighters continue.